up guys welcome back to another video and today i'll be showing you how to use roblox studio part one so first things first i have to show you the basics i'm just going to delete these really fast hold on oh why did it do that Reiki. <coughs> I'm a little bit sick. So, please, sorry for that. But, anyways, I'm going to be showing you the basics of Roblox Studio. So, first, the controls of Roblox Studio W goes forward, A goes to the left. D goes to the right, S goes back. And then you can use your mouse if you right click and hold, you can look everywhere. And you use your other hand to move. It's pretty easy. And um, next video I'll be doing a scripting tutorial. And then next thing after you get the controls of moving down you want to get the controls of building down so first you want to insert a part by clicking right here on your home page at the very top of the screen you want to only click the part you don't want to click like where the words are in the arrow you just want to click the block the actual 3d block and it spawns it in. And then after you do that, there's these over here. If you select on the block, but then you go to home, you can click move and you can move it up, down, um, to the sides, Forward and backwards, right and left. And next thing that you need to get a hold of is scaling. So you want to click on this scale that it's kind of like a box with an arrow pointing inside a bigger box. You want to click on that and um, these little circles. You want to hold. You want to hold them with your left click, and it will make them longer. So let's say I want to make like a Maybe like a, just a wall. Um, you can make a wall. Or, you can make it thicker by going to the sides of it and doing the blue ones. The blue ones make it thicker, the reds make it longer, the greens make it higher, I mean, taller or shorter. Like it could be an inch thick. It could be a floor. After you get that down, there's something else that you can do. Which you can, um, if you, if you select it, then that just selects like an object. And you can move it like fully. You can't just move it with the move tool like this, side to side. You can go to select and you can move it anywhere like I can move it right here so then it looks like this is a hole which is only like the spawn it's actually all different so they're not together oh and um, if you want to select something hover over two pieces at the same time um, and put them together you can hold left and you can hover hold left and it selects on both of them and then you can right click and you can click like group as a model or you can click no one ever really uses any of these I don't use them I mean but like you can make them to where you can group them as a thing so then they're together so like when you move the spawn that moves with it or when you move the floor or the wall that I made, 
it moves the spawn with it. And then, another thing is the toolbox. You can spawn things that people have made. So, like, I can spawn, like, maybe, like, a text, or maybe, like, a car. We could spawn, like, a, a car, and it spawns in, and you can move it. And then, I wouldn't recommend doing any of this. I wouldn't recommend messing with it. Don't scale it, because that makes it big. That also makes it big. I mean, you can, but, like, why? Just, like, why? And, boom, there we go. So, we brought the basics down. And now, I need to show you the basics of, basically, what all these tabs are. So, model... This is where you can model things, and you can make scripts over here, which we're not doing that today. We're doing this next video, but if you click on model, that'll be in the third video probably, you can go to effects, and it'll make smoke. Boom. Or you can make a point light, or you can spawn fire. Where's that fire at? And you can basically make effects, which I think are really cool. And yeah, a fire pops up right here. But if you want to delete them, there's this one on the very right. But if you don't have it popped up, you can go to home. I mean, you can go to view and you can select explore right here it shows basically everything that's spawned in so let's say I want to delete the the car let's say I want to delete the car you right click right here or you can just click it and it in the blue hovers over the actual inspect of it and then you can right click on that blue and you can delete it but if you want to delete your fire and if you don't want to delete your spawn location, it's deleted. You can basically delete anything and everything. Like, I can... Sorry. Sick. But anyways, I can basically spawn anything. Or, oh wait. Let's say I want to have a sunless blue sky in the sky. It appears you want to search up like a sky and it makes and it gives you a sky like you can select any different skies you want you could select a mean sky um I don't feel comfortable help me <laughs> all right we're good we're good we're good and this makes it like blurry some some of them like it makes it like blurry but if you don't want it blurry you go to that aspect of it which is the sunless blue sky you know, let me delete these because i spawned on all those different skies which you want to delete the ash if there's anything that's called like at atmosphere, well, you can delete the atmosphere, and you can basically, um, like you know, it makes it to where it's not as foggy than it was. Just deleting all these, and then plugins. These are really just things. Like if you go here and onto your toolbox you can go into this selection of things and you can find like fonts you can find videos you can find um, meshes meshes are basically things that that you can try so if i go to avatar on the selection you can click Re greg builder 
and you can click my avatar or any avatar but you want to make sure that it's um what was it r15 and you can make it anything i'm just gonna go with a block avatar you can go over here to the right and you can move that dominus into the rig but sometimes that dominus does not work so you want to find like a different one i'm pretty sure this works to it so you can move it into the actual thing so let's find it you want to find that rig and you want to find the head and you want to put it on the head Or you can click rig. And if it's like this, they're together, trust me. It's just like some of them, they don't work. So then the actual thing doesn't work. And it all just doesn't work. Or there's something else that you can do, which is really cool. Avatar, rig builder, and you can make your avatar. So... My avatar is right here, and you can um, you can kind of mess with it a little bit by going to avatar and create accessory, and you need to like get an accessory file and put it into the game. It's kind of hard. I'll do that next video if you want me to. Um, you could find. You can find lots of things like, oh my god, why is that so big? Oh, let's make it super tall. Wee. Ah, uh, yes, I like a huge giant scythe. That tall, yep. My tiny character. And um, you can scale like absolutely in anything. You can click scale and you can move your avatar to where you can make it bigger and if you hold control z i'm pretty sure you can make him better all together like bigger all together you can make him absolutely tiny that's literally looking like the headless head right now <laughs> I'm going to make a statue so then you can select that whole rig and if you have your properties if you don't have your properties you can click view and you can click right here on properties and it spawns down here and you're going to want to change the color to it like by clicking properties and selecting it on and you're going to want to select that you're going to want to go down to where you find like color it doesn't work on rigs but if you have like something that is like this then you can change the color of it to anything you want which i'm not doing that because it's a perfectly good noob but you can change the color of anything if you need any help i'll help you oh yeah by the way there's something if you click model and you click um No. If you click terrain editor and view, then you can make terrains. You can like make mountains and you can create Hold on. You can draw mountains as you can see and then you can go back to move and you can move your um your rig on top of the planes because it's an actual thing so if you move it on top then you automatically have grass 
or if you want something else you can click draw and you can um make like cracked lava if you want cracked lava you can create cracked lava as you can see cracked lava but if you want like stone like like a nice sedimentary you can quit <laughs> you can just straight kill your rig <laughs> The little guy down there is dead. Nothing lives. But basically, you can soothe it out by clicking create. And you can make the size smaller, so don't worry. You can make it to like 12. So then, once you click import, you can start creating. Hold on. And as you can see, if you like hover over something with this and you click generate, it generates a soothe floor for you to start working on. So if I want like, if I want water, I can click create and I can make a puddle of water. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. You can change everything in it to like mountains. And you can hit generate and it makes like lava pools so you can you can make all this and you can make a whole sedimentary of lava. You can make a lava house. This is like a um what's it called? There's like a whole base for a house, a mansion. And you can do that like this. And so, everything is made right now. And... Oh, one more thing. If you go back to home, you can click play. This this bla big blue, like, play button. If you click on the blue play button, not the text and the arrow... It spawns you into your map that you made. So you can easily test out your map that you made. So. Yeah. That is how. Hold on. Yeah. Why did it, why did it just get me out? So that is how you do it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to make the next tutorial today. And I'm trying to post more. I used to not post practically at all. I got logged out on my YouTube channel a while ago. So it's been a while. But I'm making more videos again. And... I'm making more tutorials, I'm going to make tutorials, I'm going to make actual gaming videos, I'm going to make VR videos, don't worry. I'm getting a whole webcam so you'll be able to see me soon, and I'll do a actual, and my mic quality will actually be better. So, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and peace, see you in the next one.